So for the soap you're about to see, I use three different molds. And I use this little uh, fondant mold to make the smallest heart. And then I used uh, that medium heart there to make some of the hearts. And then I used the back of another mold to make the insets. And it was really, that's all there is to it. And I did use my melt and pour for those. And the whole purpose of what I'm showing you here is just some silk in the water. And I just wanted to show how it dissolves with lye for anyone who hasn't seen it before. I've cut it up rather small, but this isn't only silk. This is also some wonderful Angora rabbit fur that my dear friend Jen from Gentle Soaps sent me, which I'm just thrilled with. Anyway, the whole purpose of this soap is because a neighbor little girl, well, it's not a neighbor little girl, it's my neighbor's granddaughter, loves hearts. She's six years old and she has hearts on everything. And every time she visits over there, she has something on with hearts. Her little blouse, she has a heart bracelet, she has hearts on her shoes, she loves hearts. And I have given her grandparents uh, soaps before. I don't charge them for it. I just, what I make extra, I'll give a, sometimes give my neighbors. But anyway, <laughs> I decided I wanted to make a few hearts for her, some heart soaps for Valentine's. Well, I went a little overboard and made far too many. And um, so that's what you're seeing the making of here. And here, what I've done is I have my water and the silk and I'm adding the lye to it. I just simply wanted to show how the lye will dissolve the silk and the angora fur because I still find it fascinating myself how the proteins actually dissolve and I wasn't expecting the rabbit fur, the angora, to dissolve the way that the silk does but it did and I was just so very pleased with it. And uh, this soap is not a complicated soap, but it does have a lot of rich, wonderful ingredients in it. But I wanted to keep it kind of simple because it's for a child. So the, it's just, I didn't use goat milk because I happen to know that this little girl is allergic to animal fats. Uh, long story, but I won't go into that now. So I just wanted this to be water. Uh, there is, I am adding coconut milk and oatmeal to this recipe. And, uh, okay, let's go ahead and move forward. But as you can see there, the silk and the rabbit fur have dissolved into the water. That's the heat from the lye. It just, it's just miraculous to me. So I'm just letting the cocoa butter dissolve here in the warm oils. And, um, this is just a very gentle soap. Uh, it's not heavily fragranced. It has just a touch of bergamot and just a little bit of rosemary, um, but very little. I mean, the, the scent is going to be very, very faint, but I think that she will like it. I hope. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I have so much fun making soap and I haven't had as much opportunity lately as I like to and a lot of that is because of what's going on at work which today was really my official first day at work Tuesday uh, the 15th I think yes uh, it was my first day at work and I had a fantastic day and you'll be seeing this I guess on the 16th but I really did have a good first day getting to know uh, some of the people that I work with who are just a tremendous bunch of people. And I'm going to have a bunch more <laughs> people, uh, uh, almost double the amount of people uh, that report to me now, over 900. Uh, and after all the hiring is done and things, it's going to be over a thousand. So it's very exciting. Anyway, uh, I hope you're all doing well. I really do. I, and those of you that are soapers, I've had so much fun watching your channels grow. 
and I'm growing. I mean, I'm almost at 700. I'm going to have a drawing at 750. I can hardly wait for that. I love doing those. And um, I just am so happy to do this and so grateful that I get to share it with you all. Things are going well right now. Barry is healthy. The goats are healthy. Stevie Squirrel is doing well. Um, life is good right now. I don't have any complaints. Uh, I'm a little stressed with work only because I'm learning new things and moving forward that. What you see me doing here is adding uh, some of the oil that I took out of the recipe and added a bit of alkanet to uh, just to tint it a light lavender. Uh, and it really comes out more of a blue gray but uh, I was happy with it. I think it worked out well as a background for the other colors in the melt and pour. I am using my own melt and pour. Uh, the colors though are not my usual, at least when it comes to the melt and pour. Um, I actually did use food coloring, a actually food safe food coloring in my melt and pour. Normally I wouldn't do that, but I wanted it to be a bright red for the child. I just wanted it to be pretty and actually her grandfather uh, when I told him what I was doing he told me that she really liked a bright red and the only way I know to get bright red is with either micas which I don't have a bright red or food coloring so it's just the little heart inserts so it's such a small amount um, that it doesn't make any real effect on the soap Valentine Day never meant much to me, but it meant something to those that I loved in the past. So, of course, I would always buy a card, give a small gift. But the truth is, folks, we should be showing love to those that we care about every day not just one day a year. And I realize that it's a holiday created by the greeting card and candy companies, right? <laughs> but uh, because it exists, we might as well make the best of it. So I hope that if you have someone that you have a romantic relationship with, that you do have a wonderful day. But I hope every day is great for you, not just this one day. And that was always my problem with the day is that is that the only time you can buy flowers or candy for someone well of course not and i think that we should try to do that every day <laughs> but we can't do that right who can afford to buy a dozen roses or a box of candy every day no of course not but there are other ways that we can show people we love them in small ways how about doing the dishes for your partner if they're the ones who normally do it doing their laundry one day um, or if you don't ever do it, why not do it one day just for the fun of it? Um, put the lid on the toothpaste, <laughs> you know. Um, put the seat up if for your man. It should. Be. I've often wondered why men have to always put the seat down. Um, sometimes it's okay. Why not uh, when you get up, put the seat up? for the man, right? I'm just saying, I'm not I'm not a sexist and I'm not trying to uh, start a mutiny when it comes to toilet seats. I'm simply saying, do something for that other person in your life, whatever it is. Um, maybe, uh, you know, gentlemen can do a romantic movie night sometimes for their partner. Or, you know, there are just so many th little things that we can do. And to show people that we care. How about a little handwritten note? You know, I love you. Um, have a great day at work. Um, I'm proud of you for what you said to our child. You know, there are a thousand different things we can say and do. And just don't forget them. I say this to you, I'm not preaching. I lost the love of my life and I I'm thankful that I took every opportunity I could to say I love you and to show it. Um, oh, I say every. No, not every opportunity. 
because I wouldn't have felt as much guilt as I did. Obviously, there are things that I wish I had done more of, you know, but take this advice in the way that it's meant as just a caring gesture. Uh, this is my way of telling you how much I love and care about you, <laughs> is helping you to uh, share that with others. And I hope that it's shared with you as well. So here I'm just showing how I took my little melt and pours that I made, showed you how I made earlier. And then I just used a little melt and pours glue to fit them into the soaps and glue them in place. But I want to thank you all so very much. I know I've said that before and I tend to say it too much perhaps and maybe it loses some of its meaning it's like telling someone i love you a hundred times but not showing it right i really am thankful though but i'll stop saying that but thank you <laughs> uh, it's been just a real pleasure doing this and growing and seeing so many new people i'm just impressed and i hope that you will comment and respond to someone else's comment so I can give some of these away. You know the routine. Take care, everyone, and have a great day. Goodbye.